Hello everybody, I am Walter Drescher. TEDx Amsterdam this year is about big questions. One of the biggest questions that humanity faces today is how are we going to be able to move all the people and all those goods around the globe without jeopardizing high quality human life and human life in general. I want to ask you all to close your eyes. Close your eyes and now imagine yourself in the heart of a big city and think about what you see. Think about what you hear and think about what you smell. You can open your eyes again. If you are not fooling yourself, everything that you see, hear and smell is dominated by transportation and its infrastructure. A very large part of our public space is used for transportation. I don't know if you ever tried to cross Amsterdam with a baby carriage, but if you did, you probably noticed that every now and then you have to walk on the street because the sidewalk is just too small. And when I was living in Paris and I went to visit some friends at the other side of the city, it sometimes took me hours to get there in the same city. So I think that it's pretty evident to see that our current transportation mix has reached its limits. Our trains, trams and metros are crammed with people. Every high lane that we make is filled with a traffic jam within a few years and the zones around our airports have become unlivable. The speed with which we travel through a city today is actually decreasing. But luckily there's an alternative and this alternative is called evacuated tube transportation. And a ready to be built version is ET3. Capsules travel through vacuum tubes with magnetic levitation and speeds up to 6,500 kilometers an hour can be reached. It can be built above ground and it can be built underground. It is silent, it is extremely fast, it doesn't, make, it doesn't generate any pollution and it's extremely energy efficient. And the best part, all the technology that we need is accessible and available today, so we can start working on it tomorrow. So what does this mean for our daily life? It means that you can live at the Veluwe, you go to work in Amsterdam, you go for lunch in Madrid, you have a meeting in Beijing, and you're still home for supper. Because you don't actually want to know how far something is. What the important thing is, is how much time does it take to get there? So I want you to think about mobility and transportation as if it were the internet. A global network, every place on earth connected and reachable within a few hours. Extremely flexible, extremely fast and accessible for all. A transport transition towards this kind of system will make it possible for us to redefine the way that we experience time and space. And we will be able to reinvent and redesign our cities. So what does this mean for our cities? Well, two tubes, with a diameter of one and a half meters, have the same capacity as a 32 lane highway. And one access point takes the same amount of space as one parking spot. So you can have a, an access point inside your house or inside your apartment. Now think about what this means for your public space. No more transportation infrastructure, no more noise, no more traffic, a safe public space with parks, forests, squares, whatever you like. A transition like this will take a long time. We cannot build something like this overnight. But we didn't build our highways overnight, and we didn't build our railway networks overnight. But with every tube that we will make, we will dramatically decrease the pressure on our overburdened infrastructure of today. And we could start, for instance, by taking all cargo off the streets. Maybe this scares some of you. Well, the first railway track between Haarlem and Amsterdam also scared people. But this transition will happen because it's naive to think that we will stop developing new mobility systems. We have always done that ever since we invented the wheel. So this is going to happen. But how are we going to make this happen today and here? I think we should start by inspiring people. Show them what this means for their daily life and for the living environment. And then we should build a test track in the Netherlands to show that it is here that we can reinvent mobility. Because if we're not building it, somebody else will. So why not us? And why not here? Why not now? Thank you.